Navy officials say the incident occurred shortly after 8.30 this morning as the 17,000-ton vessel en route to Norfolk from New Orleans entered the Chesapeake Bay. The Navy vessel, the USS Francis Marion, suffered extensive damage to its starboard side. Although some flooding also occurred, it was quickly brought under control by the ship's crew. The Marion then continued to the Norfolk Naval Station under its own power, where the job of clearing the wreckage and estimating damages began. At this time, to the best of my knowledge, there has been no estimate of the damages, but the Francis Marion was one of the Navy ships that was scheduled for retirement in uh, fiscal year uh, 1980. It's standard procedure in an accident like this that a, a board of investigators will be convened to try to determine just what did happen in this particular instance. The Greek ship Starlight, a 15 by 15 foot gash in her bow, remains at anchor off Norfolk. The vessel was outbound from Baltimore when the collision occurred. The injured men were taken by Coast Guard helicopter to the Naval Medical Center in nearby Portsmouth. They were identified as Commander Donald Miller, the Marion's executive officer, and Lieutenant Commander Robert Leary, both of Virginia Beach. Martha Graham, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Norfolk.